I found my community at Cal Poly through a variety of organizations on campus, whether it's multicultural organizations or professional organizations. So I found a really strong community um, through Chinese Students Association and Filipino Cultural Exchange where I'm really able to engage with people with the same background and heritage I am, the same values. I really enjoy that aspect, but I found that, oh, I found really good friends through this, uh, these organizations, but I didn't really find my group. So I also joined other organizations like Cal Poly Liberal Arts Ambassadors and Underrepresented Students Network. And through those organizations, I also found really great friends. And in my head, I was kind of like, oh, like I haven't really found like my group of friends, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, or maybe this college isn't for me if I can't find that group that everyone talks about. And before that, I decided to um, tr uh, apply to transfer just in case that, oh, maybe this university isn't for me. That's probably why I can't find this group. But as time went on, as I spent more time um, working with these organizations or being involved in their events, I found that the relationships that I had with those people were building and building, but I was still lacking that group. But when the time came that I found out that I got accepted to my dream university, I was like, okay, like, I still haven't found my group of friends that everyone talks about, but I do have some really good friendships and relationships with people at Cal Poly. And to me, I was like, you know what, like maybe a group of friends doesn't mean a lot when I have really good friends from different organizations that represent my interests. So I decided to decline the offer and stay at Cal Poly. And that decision was probably the best decision that I ever made. I like to say that the best decision that I ever made was not choosing Cal Poly, but it was choosing to stay. And I think that all the experiences that I had, whether it's being um, part of these organizations or just utilizing the networks and relationships that I had before, instead of just going out and actively searching for this thing, um, rather than enjoying the company and relationships that I currently have, that it just made me realize that, oh, like, searching for a group isn't as important as searching for a community. And a community can be so many different things. It could be what you make of it. So my different friend groups, I would say, or different friends in different organizations, have the ability to represent all the different varying interests I have. I'm really into punk music, and I actually met one of my best friends at a concert that was actually hosted by ASI and we were dancing in um, the crowd and we accidentally bumped into each other pretty hard and we were like oh my god are you okay and we were suddenly best friends because we shared the same music taste. Same goes for my WOW leader. Um, they were my WOW leader and we didn't really talk much but then as time went on, they checked in on me pretty often and we just slowly started becoming really good friends and now she's one of my best friends at Cal Poly. And this exists for all the other organizations as well, even though I don't have a specific group of people, the friends that I have within those organizations represent the varying interests that I have that not one person is going to share all that with me. So within CLA Ambassadors, I'm able to connect with people who really enjoy representing Cal Poly, especially its liberal arts and talking to prospective students in underrepresented students network, I'm able to talk to individuals who share a common experience with me when it is navigating our experience at Cal Poly. And I think that's really important that I'm able to have those varying interests and friends that represent those different interests and share those different interests. And I feel like that is my community at Cal Poly. And if I had a piece of advice, um, for any prospective student or incoming freshman is that college is what you make of it. Um, definitely just go on and be like, hey, do you want to hang out? Or like, go try that club. You never know what friendships or opportunities that specific action can bring you.